Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to take a look at free VPNs. So, if you search VPNs in YouTube already, you pretty much probably know what a VPN is and what it can do. But for those of you that don't, Let's have a quick look at what a VPN actually is and why you might need one. So if you type in to Google, do I need a VPN for coding? You'll find quite a lot of results. In fact, uh, over 2 million results. Uh, people trying to tell you why you need a VPN to use streaming services such as Kodi. If you've got an Android box or whatever, if you use Kodi on a PC. And basically a VPN is a way of covering up your tracks or pretending that you're in a different uh, geographical location than what you really are. And to put this into practice, uh, let's give you a demonstration. So uh, if you're trying to catch up on one of your favorite TV shows, such as something like The Walking Dead, and you go to the AMC site and you look through, you think, oh yeah, great, I'll catch up. I haven't seen episode one yet, so click on watch episode and you're all getting excited, videos loading. Oh. Geographic restriction. This content is not available in your location. So because I'm not in the US, and my IP address is registered as being in the UK, I can't access certain sites and catch up on some of the favorite things I like to watch. So how do we get around this? Well, there's various VPN tools you can use. Uh, if you go to Amazon and have a quick look through and just type in VPN, as you can see, there's various different VPN services, free, paid for hardware routers that have VPN pre-configured or applications that you can download and install, which most of them tout as being free, um, but quite often they will need a subscription to go along with them. Now, subscription services such as things like uh, TunnelBear, which we have here, which uh, I am actually an affiliate for, so if you want to download and install TunnelBear, please do using the uh, link in the video description underneath. And you can use TunnelBear. Now TunnelBear is an application you install, uh, it's a program runs on your PC, laptop, tablet, whatever you want to use. And it's got various features in there so you can change your geographic location and pretend you're in Russia, America, wherever you want to be to circumvent certain uh, geographic restrictions. So. That's a, a paid for service. They do a free service, so if you want to try it, uh, as you can see here in pricing, if it ever loads, um, you can get 500 megabytes of free data every month with the free service. Giant is 9.99 a month, and Grizzly is currently uh, half price, well, just over half price, at uh, $4.16 a month if you're paying as a 12 month subscription. But for this uh, particular instance, we don't want to pay for it. We just want to use um, a quick and easy fix to get around our geographic restrictions. So we'll get rid of the tunnel bear and we'll look at another program called Ultrasurf. Now, if you've never heard of Ultrasurf, there's the uh, Wikipedia article on Ultrasurf. And this has been around since about uh, 2002. You can have a look. I'll leave the links in the description below again so you can have a look and decide if Ultrasurf is a uh, viable product for you. But basically this was originally uh, made for bypassing the internet censorship uh, in China, essentially. As you can see there, it's linked the Great Firewall of China. So Chinese people who wanted to access uh, internet content outside of China would install Ultrasurf. Well, I say install, you don't actually install it, you just download it and run it executable, but I'll show you more on that in a minute. But this is what they use to circumvent the uh, censorship. So let's go to the Ultrasurf site and you can see what it is. Now Ultrasurf, uh, ultrasurf.us is the uh, home page. So let's go back there so you can see the address. There you go, ultrasurf.us. And it gives you a, a brief uh, outlay of what it is. Why use Ultrasurf? Well, you can circumvent internet censorship as we uh, discussed earlier. You can encrypt online communications. Most importantly, you can hide your IP from websites visited. So if you're doing anything which may be uh, slightly um, unethical, then your IP address isn't going to be traced and there is no way of them coming back to you. Now, my particular favorite aspect of this program is no installation required. 
So there's no program files installed and once the program is actually closed, it removes any traces including registry entries, which is great for Windows users because the registry gets bloated enough as it is. And another reason to use it is it's easy to use. So let's download Ultrasurf and we'll see what we can do. So click on save and we'll save as, and I will put it in my downloads folder. And that's currently saving, it's only a tiny little file. So let's now open that folder. And you can see there's a zipped folder called U. So let's extract all that. And there we have it. That is all you need, that file. So U1704 is stands for Ultrasurf uh, 1704, which is the version number. They update this quite regularly, so your version may be slightly different from this one. But as long as the logo looks the same, you should be fine. So let's click on that and see how this works. So there we go. There's the application running. And it gives you options to open up browsers, i.e. Chrome. You've got options in there to change different settings, but we won't worry about that at the moment. But essentially now, there's three different servers that it can uh, connect to, and it always connects to the fastest one. And there we go, status successfully connected to the server. So currently all my internet traffic is being rerouted uh, through Ultrasurf through a essentially hidden location. Now, when it starts up, it automatically opens up a version of either Chrome or IE. So you can directly search whatever it is you're looking for straight from this homepage. So, for instance, uh, if you're in the UK and your ISP is blocking certain things, like uh, the Pirate Bay, for instance. Let's type in the Pirate Bay. And there we go, there's different options of linking to the Pirate Bay. Now, in fact, you can actually type in the top here, uh, the piratebay.org, which is their main site, and you go straight there with no restrictions whatsoever. So if you're into uh, torrents and file sharing, then this is a, a pretty good way of getting around your a, uh, geographical and censorship issues. Let's close all tabs because we're not really interested in that. We're just showing this for demonstration purposes. And we'll close that and close that. So now if we go back to The Walking Dead, and I'm not sure where I have to refresh this page, but we'll try and refresh it anyway. So let's go back to what we were trying to do before and let's see if we can now watch our episode of our favorite show. Okay, so I thoroughly enjoyed that, but obviously I'm not going to show it on the screen due to copyright infringement, and uh, I'm going to stop this now, so I don't want to watch the next episode, otherwise I'm going to get completely waylaid off the topic of this video. Okay, so we've had a quick look at Ultrasurf 17.4, uh, so if you think Ultrasurf is going to be useful for you, for your uh, browsing habits, check out the site, and if you've got any questions, put them in the comments below. Obviously there are many, many other VPN services available out there and I'm going to try and do a, a brief look at some of the other free ones uh, as well as some of the more premium ones. So uh, keep subscribed, keep watching and we'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching.